Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Morning. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you it is a note setup that um, kind of turning like a quad. If you have like a quad base mesh, like a very clean quad mesh, all made of a four sided polygon, uh, you can actually easily turn it into something like this if you are using a Blender modifier. <clears throat> uh, the modifier that you can use is a subserve from from O, uh, secret name, and he made this kind of a uh, quick tutorial setup. This is like a manual, manually done, you know, every step, but every step is very clear. <clears throat> like, uh, he's basically using um, the subserve modifier and then, um, and then he turned it into this kind of a, uh, what do you call it, like a diagonal kind of meshing. I call it like a pineapple, uh, pineapple mash or strawberry and basically once you get once you get this thing you can apply the modifier and then you go you go to edit mode and then you switch to vertices and then uh, control shift B and then do like a kind of like a bevel for the vertices and you get this kind of result and then you kind of extrude it in and you get something that looks like a strawberry or pineapple kind of surface. I think that's kind of neat. So I decided to try to do the same using Spreadshop. And we actually able to do that uh, almost like instantly. Um, one of Spreadshop developer told me that I can simply just use a bevel for that. So I'll show you real quick. The setup now uh, is like a once-off thing, but you can you can uh, try all kind of different variations. Um, but anyway, the the topology that's using procedural node-based system is uh, tend to be really interesting. It's almost like uh, magical. So you start with a, a cylinder, for example, and the cylinder objects is made of all quads. And if you are just using a bevel set to vertex only set to percentage uh, 50 percent you you will actually get a this kind of result like a pineapple kind of a topology instantly and then the next thing i did was to remove double kind of like merging all the vertex vertices that are close together and then i'm doing another bevel and then this is what i got this the second bevel is uh, with vertex only set to off, so you get this kind of uh, very interesting wireframe, and because this is like a procedural, you can actually go back to the cylinder, for example, and then make adjustment like that. You can even like uh, zero it out, zero the top part. Uh, perhaps you can also change the subdivision this number so you get this really intricate pattern very uh, beautiful and you can just uh, simply bake it so that's even something like this is already pretty neat right and on top of that I made another experiment here with a after I remove double I use another bevel and then kind of combining two parts so I get uh, this design and I have another design like this and I combine the two that and then I get something that looks like a cactus so I think there's a lot of uh, opportunity opportunities here um, you just need to experiment a little bit uh, because everything is like um, everything is done in one go for all the topology um, it's kind of a sometimes it's a trial and error unless you know exactly what this uh, nodes is doing because each node is actually kind of like an algorithm you have a lot of uh, potentials here um, you just need to give it a try um, so yeah the secret is this uh, bevel node so in order to turn a uh, quad into something like this it just takes a few notes 
Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this live loading. Hopefully you enjoy this. It's pretty simple, but pretty powerful. If you have any feedback, suggestion, if you made something interesting, let me know and in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.